Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal 1, Bournemouth 0. You don't see too many 1-0s to the Arsenal uh, at the Emirates Stadium these days, but this was 1. Uh, if it doesn't sound like a great game, that's because it wasn't really. Uh, Bournemouth were terrible in the first half. It was really interesting. I was sat next to a guy who covers Bournemouth every single week and he couldn't believe quite how poor they were. He thought maybe they were overawed by the stadium, by the occasion. I think they've been in the Premier League long enough for that to not be the case. They were just all over the shop. And Arsenal probably should have taken more advantage of, of that than we did. Went 1-0 up early on. David Luiz, a very good header from a Nicola Pepe corner. Not a short corner, a direct corner. One actually worked. Great to see for a change. A good delivery. That was desperately lacking, of course, at Old Trafford in the last Premier League game. Luiz got his head on it. And I think the way that everyone celebrated him with him shows what a popular figure he already is within the dressing room. Um, but it didn't really sort of catch fire. For us, uh, you know, we had the front three of Saka, Pepe, Aubameyang on paper, so exciting, but they were kind of on different wavelengths at different times. Uh, Sabaros, I thought, had an all right game linking the, the midfield and the attack. I think first half, you'd sort of be pretty content with it, although quite how much it was to do with a good performance from us and how much to do with a bad performance from Bournemouth, it's difficult to decipher. Second half, they woke up and we struggled. I mean, I thought, you know, we were lucky, really to come away without dropping points here. Could easily have been a draw. I know Aubameyang hit the post for us, but we only had two shots on, on target in the course of the whole game. Bournemouth, you know, we required some good interventions from Callum Chambers, who I thought was very solid today. Matteo Ganduzi as well in the opposition box. Really not the coherent, fluid, um, comfortable display we were looking for. You know, we wanted to build on the Europa League game in midweek and show a bit of dominance, show a bit of superiority. That wasn't there. And uh, it is becoming concerning. I think that actually, <laughs> at a certain point, we have to wonder, is what we're seeing from Unai Emery, what he intends to do? You know, is he trying to make us a team that is a bit less reliant on possession, that is more of a counter-attacking transitional team? It's not good to watch. I don't think any of us feel like that because we don't even counter with a great deal of fluency or threat. But I think... You know, I sort of can't think this far into his reign the players are not following instructions. So I think we have to assume that this is part of a plan. It's not pretty. It was very soporific in the second half. I mean, the, the slight paradox is that Arsenal's form in terms of results and in terms of league positioning is decent. We are third. Um, we're a point off Man City. I think only really the Watford game you look at as a match where we did less than we ought to have done in terms of points. But apart from that, we're basically par. Uh, but equally, we've seen last season that you can go on quite a decent run of results. If the performance is up there, it can come back to bite you come the end of the season. So, look, uh, it's early on in this run of winnable games. This wasn't the game where it all clicked. It wasn't even really a game where we could see many discernible signs of progress. But I suppose at least we got the win on a weekend where, you know, currently United are trailing. Unlikely to take three points at Newcastle, obviously. Newcastle didn't take three points. Obviously, Leicester lost as well. So while we wait for progress, we have to try and be content with the results. Um, yeah, worth for Callum Chambers, I thought was very good today. Louise, I thought, had another decent game. He was good at Old Trafford too. Uh, and Ganduzi, I think, just becomes increasingly important to this team. Some great interventions from him in his own penalty box. But I'd like to see him having to do a bit less work there and have been free to do a bit more going forward. Um, yeah, as for Nicola Pepe, well, he set up the goal, but was withdrawn on the hour. Not a great sign for him, as far as you know, Emery's perception of his play goes. And that's the subject of my piece for The Athletic tomorrow. I'll be doing the Ask Cast Extra in the morning too, so get your questions in, as always, with the hashtag. Uh, I'm amazed I managed to find four minutes worth of stuff to talk about this game. It wasn't pretty. All right, guys. Oh, sorry about the mic as well. Forgot my mic. Cheers. Bye.